What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 Mind Team video. And guys, today, we are going to go over some market. We're going to go over a lot of things in this video. I don't exactly know what to title it, but before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff. That would be greatly appreciated. Let's get 100 likes on the video, and we will do some empty giveaways on Twitter. Let's hit 11K for the 100,000 empty giveaway on Twitter. That would be sick. 100,000 MT giveaway is a lot of MT, and you guys would definitely, definitely like it. Also, I have no MT. I got to get my MT up. I got to sell some stuff in my collection. Also, we're selling MT on Twitter. Make sure to hit me up. Xbox, PS4, whatever you need, man. But, oh, my goodness, man. Um, let's go over the market. It's crashed. It's endgame. I think it's officially endgame. And we're also going to talk a little bit about the token market because 2K is scamming people. I want this jaw so bad, but, oh, my goodness. 2K... They are scamming people, and I'm going to tell you guys why. So I actually was looking at Twitter, and there was actually a lot of people buying these new cards, and they literally didn't even get them. They are scams. So, yeah, it looks like it was fixed. Do I trust this at all? No. Either way, yeah, I do love Jaha. I love Stoudemire. I love Pettit. I want to buy one of them, but, yo, honestly, I think they're going to make a gold player in the token collection like last year. So, if I were you, I think these cards are baits. I think they're baiting you guys to waste your tokens. So, they're going to probably drop a gold player for like 2,000 tokens. If they do, man, I could definitely see it coming. I could definitely see it coming. Because think about it. They made an auctionable GOAT. They made a non-auctionable GOAT. They haven't made any token market update GOATs. I'm telling you, bro, it makes sense. So, that's the scheme I think they're putting in. I just really would not spend any MT or, I mean, tokens on this. Because, honestly, it is MT. I honestly always want to buy this Beal. I wish I had like 6,000 tokens. Then again, I could if I do lock in these sets, but I'm not going to do that. But yeah, in this video, we're going to go over the market. We're going to go over the market crash. We're going to go over a lot of stuff because honestly, we're just going to make this what you should do in my team right now because honestly, there's a lot you guys should be doing. Um, For some reason, heat checks are up a ton. If you guys have any heat checks, moments of the week cards, I literally cannot stress this enough. Make sure to sell those cards because dude... You are going to make a lot of MT if you listen to me on this. I promise you, these cards are really expensive. All these bummy heat checks, I'm not getting these tokens. Tokens are not worth this much MT. I'm selling all these bad boys, man. It's not worth it. I'm telling you, sell all your heat checks. Sell all your moment cards. I'm telling you, man, it's endgame. They're going to somehow ruin the value of them sooner or later. So if you would just please take my advice and make the MT while you can. The minute bowls, whatever you want, man. I'm telling you right now. I don't know why Gus is... I have Galaxy Oval 80 and they're showing Gus. Like, what? Um, but yeah, man. There's a lot to be doing. Let's go over the market, man. I'm going to go over the market real quick for you. Bowl bowls down a lot, man. I don't understand how JR Smith is 160K. I got him for 300K. It's really endgame. And also, one player I'd also want to talk about is Clay Thompson. Why is he so cheap? I actually think I got him or got outbidded. But oh my goodness, guys, this is endgame. It's it's serious, man. This is some serious, serious stuff. Like, like it literally is endgame. Like, there's nothing else to say. Um, I literally don't even know what to run anymore. There's so many good cards in this game. Dino Raja is still goaded, bro. He still has my heart. But there's so many good cards in this game, and it's literally crazy. Like, what do we do? What should we do? Right now, since it's endgame and the market continues to crash, I'm literally just going to say, it's almost like there's no more investments, man. Like, literally, you could only investments are diamonds and amethyst, and they don't even go up that much. It's endgame. If you guys really want to make MT and all that stuff, you really just have to know what you're investing in and what you're sniping in because, dude, it is crazy. Should I buy that? In? Um, nah. It's really like... It's crazy, man. It's endgame. So, what you guys should be doing right now, honestly, I honestly definitely think you should sell your cards right now because, to be honest, it's only going to get worse from here and there's only going to be better cards from here. That's my opinion. I don't want to sell my team because I literally don't need to, but for people that literally have all their MT in teams, I would recommend selling, man. I'm telling you right now, you will not regret selling this team. Like, 
There's a lot. There is a lot, a lot, a lot in this game to be done. A lot. So, what you guys should do is sell. Buy some of these cards I'm going to go over real quick. Because I feel like I'm speaking nonsense. Buy freaking Luka Doncic and buy, what's his name, ASAP. What's his name? Lamar Odom. Buy those two ASAP and please, like... You have to buy those cards because they're in the Prime set. They haven't dropped Prime in a couple weeks. These cards have so much value. They're not in packs. You have to realize these cards have not been in packs for how long, dude? For how long? They are going to go up in value, I promise. Lamar Odom going to go up in value. Um, those are two cards I definitely recommend. Honestly, I feel like Clay might go up in value. He is 6'7". He has 98-98 perimeter with a 6 steal. Even though, yeah, there's Goat MJ, I think... He is one of the top shooting guards in this game, and I really do think that you guys should maybe pick him up. I have a feeling he might go up in value. Oh, man, Goat Jordan. I want him so bad. But, yo, there's a lot going on in this game. Like, honestly, like I said, moments of the week cards. They have, they're going to drop something to do with this soon. They released the pack. Look at how much these cards are going for, guys. Look at this. They're so expensive. These bum rubies, 3,000, 4,000. I know if you day one players have played this game, for a while, you definitely have all these players in your collection. There's no way you don't. This Jonathan Isaac, I have to sell out my whole collection. It's endgame. You got to start clearing out your collection, you know? Start clearing it out. Start doing your thing, man. Make that MT. These Sapphires are going for 5K. The Heat Checks are going for 5K. And also, man, Diamond Contract Sniping has been going off the roof. I don't know why. It's so hot right now. Don't even know why. It's literally crazy. I go on the uh, Diamond Auction. The diamond shoe contract whatever i just flip back and forth it's crazy what pops up on there man like kids are just chucking up cards for no reason for like it, it's literally crazy man um diamond contracts were flying off the walls yesterday i don't know why but i'm gonna go over it real quick especially when they drop that locker code you guys could make so much mt but yo a lot of people were asking bro is it worth investing for some reason I literally, I don't know why. Though I told you, man, Eddie Curry was the best investment ever. If you guys listen to me with that investment, Eddie Curry was the best investment I've ever done in my life. You literally made so much MT off him. Wow, bro. I got him for 40K. 40K? He's 67K. I literally told you guys, man, if you listen to me and you bought four, I bought two. I wish I bought more. I bought two for 50 and 45. He's now at 70 69k bro that's 20k profit clean what are you kidding me no it's like 15k profit after reduction clean like dude if you bought 10 of those for 50k that's 500k you literally would have made so much mt that's literally 150k made like there's so much to do also let's check out the manu bowl investments there's so much going on man like straight up like i said if you want to make mt manu bowl filter sapphire pink diamond those filters are hot. That Manu Bowl Sapphire is super rare. And look at this. Manu Bowl's up to 40,000 MT. So if you guys invested in that, you're going to make about 7,000 clean. Poor Manu Bowl, bro. He was at 28K, actually. Dude, this is crazy, man. My methods, I'm telling you guys, this is amazing. The market is somewhat, it's still crashed as hell. It's not rising. It's just some cards are rising because they have rarity, bro. You have to realize there's so many cards in this game. Not everybody's going to look at Manute Bowl. I scoped it out, man. Manute Bowl went up about 12K. You can make about 8K to 10K profit off each Manute Bowl. So if you listen to me, W's for you. If you didn't, <coughs> just continue to watch this price, man. We also got Sapphire Manute. There's a lot going on in this video. Sapphire Manute's up a lot too. Oh, no. Why didn't I buy any? Bro, I messed up again. Sapphire Manu Bowl was at 20. He's now at 40. I did it again, man. Manu Bowl is the card to invest in, man. Straight up. But yeah, what you guys should be doing overall? Sell your team. Hop on the Luca Lamar Odom wave. Maybe pick up a clay. Get rid of your Magic Johnson. Why is Magic Johnson not Evo that much? Oh my goodness. Magic Johnson went up so much, bro. I got him for 200k in my video. 250k in my video. Make sure to sell him too. What is going on? But yeah. That is really all we got for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Literally, I think today might be the last day you could ever sell your cards. There's going to be... Like, this is crazy. You guys need to sell your cards ASAP. I promise you, just sell them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one, guys. Peace.